Hello everyone, this is Tyler with Diesel Laptops. I am here today to talk to you about a new tool we are launching. This is a $1,500 price point. With it, you're going to get some great hardware. You're going to get the laptop, COM adapter, cables, and you are also going to get some diagnostic software so you can hook up to your vehicles, check codes, troubleshoot codes, view live data, and just generally a good, a good starter tool to get you in the game. You can easily upgrade and add some other software if you wanted to. Uh, but let's just go right into it. So we're going to launch this program called Launch VNB Recorder. And you'll notice how fast this program is. So boom, it's loaded. And within a couple seconds, we already have all of our repair information, which is awesome. So we're trying to see what this tool can do. We have fault codes, monitor, totals, emissions, and so on. We'll go through all those, but let's talk about codes. So in the real world, what you would do is you'd come in here, you'd find out what codes you have, you'd fix the codes, they'll go inactive, and then you hit the clear and active faults button. So in this case, we're hooked up to a bench ECM. There's no sensors connected to it. It's going to be pretty ugly in terms of the number of codes we have, along with all the values you're about to see in the live data. But to troubleshoot something, here's how you would do it with this tool. So let's start here with this one, barometric pressure, uh, SPN 108 FMI4. Okay, so let's go through here and show you how to do that. So we're going to go to truckfaultcodes.com. This is a site that we created. We give it away free with this tool. Normally it's about $200 a year. So I'm gonna log in here and hit the login button. And this is a great website that has tons and tons of repair information for virtually every single diagnostic code that you can think of. I'm gonna hop in here and I'm gonna go down to Cummins, ISX CM871, kind of gives you the year range. If you weren't sure, you could just double check there. So I would select that one. And now it loaded the entire table. So there is a lot of codes in here, 26 pages of them. We don't need to see that much. So we can do the search. So I'm going to search for one, zero, eight. And give it a second here. And there's all of our codes. So now we got some options, FMI 3, 4, and 2. We're not sure which one. We can't remember. So let's go back here and look. Ours was FMI 4. So go back to the tool and pick FMI4 right here. So this tool has two features to it now that we're this far. Number one, we're going to get some good repair information. It's going to tell us kind of where to go and what to look at and say, hey, here's your possible repairs. It's one of these three things. That's great, but let's say we actually want to get some detailed troubleshooting. We want the troubleshooting trees. We just don't want to know what to go to. So I'm going to click detailed troubleshooting. And it's going to launch a PDF file here that we've created for virtually every code that will go through step by step with pictures and tell you what you're looking at and how to go fix it. So now we have literally a three, four, five, six page document that's going to go through and give you a troubleshooting tree. Hey, check this. Is that active or inactive? No. Go here. Yes. Go there. And so on and so on. So very good information, and you will find thousands and thousands and thousands of these on the website. All right? You can also print your solution from the website if you were so inclined. So let's go back to the tool now that we're done talking about codes and go through some of the other features. Next one up is the monitor tab. So this breaks it into four different categories, favorites, temperature values, pressures, and everything else. So you can view all the live data here while things are going on, see what sensors are reading what, and know exactly what's going on with your vehicle. Now the next tab over is called vehicle totals, and it's exactly what it is. It's going to give you your, do uh, I'm sorry, miles, hours, gallons, average mile per hour, where your road speed limiter is set at, what your engine's rated at for horsepower. It's going to do some averages over here to give you some fuel economy and average speeds and percent used in each time. Let's go to the next tab, emissions. So this is going to give us a nice graphical picture of your emission system and along with the values for the different sensors and temperatures and pressures that's going on at that point. Now, again, keep in mind, why are they showing this high values? Well, that's simply because we don't have any sensors hooked up to this ECM, so it's using some default values. Next tab over is the network map. And this is basically going to give you an overview of what's going on with the network on your vehicle. So right now it says it sees three things. It sees the onboard di offboard diagnostic service tool, which is actually the data link reader that we have connected. It sees the engine. It's going to give us the technical model number of the engine. And it's also going to give us a serial number. And yes, that serial number is correct. This is a bench ECM that we flashed a couple times. Retarder engine. This is going to be talking about your brake retarder and whatever part of that component. 
So again, I like how it shows you the messages, bytes received in SAN. Nice to see the bus load speed and see what's kind of going on there. Haven't seen that in a lot of stuff. There are a couple other options you can do with this well. If you click the little email report and you set up your email, uh, what you would do over here in the settings. So right down here, I typed in my email and you hit email report. It will actually go through and create a nice little PDF and attempt to email it to you. Uh, you can also change from SAE to metric and you can choose what protocols that you want to connect with. And this tool only works with the adapter that we've been provided with for this. So there you have it. Nice quick overview on this tool. It is a nice, great little starter laptop kit. It'll get you in the game. Uh, there's other software we sell. There's free software on the internet. But we just wanted to make this a nice, simple entry-level package that anybody could get. Um, I mean, just the hardware cost alone is worth it. Plus, you get our technical support staff here. We have in-house diesel technicians, and we're here to help you guys no matter what tool you buy. So thank you for watching, and we appreciate your time.